swamp creatures I'm looking for, you can use two techniques. One, I've got bare feet. I'm just feeling in the mud with my toes, any hard objects, any scales. And the other thing, I'm keeping my eyes skinned, looking for any flash of colour, any moving scales, and then I'll pounce. I'm on the hunt for a yellow anaconda, the three metre relative of the giant green anaconda. I know yellow anacondas are here, but will I catch one? I really need to keep my wits about me, not just for the snapping jaws of caiman, but also because anacondas don't hang about. When they sense danger, they move like bilio. So when I spot one, I've got to move like grease lightning. Otherwise, it's game over. Snake! <laughs> Two in one go. I don't know how I'm going to deal. Whoa! I don't know how I'm going to deal with this. I don't believe it's a mating pair of yellow anacondas. Is the female the females are much larger? Of course, they're hiding in this mat of water hyacinths. And she's a pretty big one. The old anacondas, females can get to be about four meters, males about half that size. Got a reputation for being irritable. And wouldn't you be feisty if you were having a cuddle with your boyfriend and girlfriend and a big guy comes along and interferes with you? Sun constantly coming out. I really want to show you something on the male when he's disappearing into the water hyacinths. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the female go. Off you go, darling. No, okay, go that way. Now go the other way. Off you go, darling. There we go. And let me see if I can get this male. She's away happily. Come on, little boy. <coughs> It's a very, very powerful snake. And look at that. I'm sorry to have disturbed you. Really rather docile when you think he's straight from the wild. And what I wanted to show you on here, if he'll let me, please don't be snappy. You really are doing a good PR job for anacondas, aren't you? But look, if you look here, see on the side of the body, these tiny spurs, and those are the remains of the limbs. That's proof that snakes evolved from lizard ancestors. If you could see inside and see the skeleton, there's also the remains of the pelvic girdle. But the male would have been using these tiny spurs to tickle the female. That's how anacondas cuddle up. And she'd have been producing a lovely chemical that he'd follow to find her, rub his chin along her body, and then try to mate with her. But I say, never tire of seeing snakes. Absolutely gorgeous, such elegant strategies for survival. The main objective of this mission is to find a jaguar. But you think of what snakes can do. They can catch the same sort of prey that jaguars can, capybaras, caiman. This boy would strike at prey, wait in ambush, then throw one or two coils around the body of his victim. Then as the victim tries to breathe, doesn't break the bones, gets tighter and tighter, winds up, so eventually the prey dies of asphyxiation, is suffocated to death. They can't unhinge the jaws, that's a myth. They've got amazing elastic tendons and bones inside the skull and they can work their mouths and jaws around their prey and swallow prey items much larger than the size of their head. So what I'm gonna do is put him back and even though I disrupted their courtship, he'll continue, he'll follow the scent trail of the female, find her again, and then continue mating. Yellow anacondas have live babies. Hopefully, the mating will result in up to 30 young, miniature replicas of the adults. So good luck, go and find her, you beautiful thing.
Iguana! Wow! What a catch! He was making a rump rip to the river. That's how these green iguanas escape predators, swim away. Sometimes they hang in the overhanging vegetation above the river and then drop down if they're threatened. And this is a real South American classic. Remind me of living dinosaurs with these lovely spines along their backs. This is a male. Also got this big dewlap here, which he uses for displaying if there's a female or another male nearby. He actually moves his throat backwards and forwards. And they can grow to be as long as I'm tall, nearly two meters. Mainly feed on vegetation, love fruit and succulent leaves. He's probably patrolling this beach in search of females. They dig their nests here. They can lay up to 65 eggs in a clutch. The average is about 30 though. And perhaps he was looking for a female to mate with, but incredible animals, pretty sharp claws. They use them like grappling irons when they're climbing in the trees. Strafed my arm there, but you didn't mean to hurt me, did you? I'm gonna let him go now and he'll swim away. Off you go, little boy. Green iguanas are superb swimmers. They move through the water with powerful strokes of their tail. It's great to see them in the wild because sadly, these beautiful animals can be victims of the pet trade. Although it's highly illegal, poachers continue to remove thousands of iguanas a year to feed the black market. Just lying on the bank. She's just nonchalantly looking at us. Straw yellow eyes. And there, my first ever jaguar. And what a magnificent animal. Beautiful coat. Tiny spots with rosettes of black. the first one just as we thought they love water stay on the riverbank this is a really rare sighting ten years ago you wouldn't have had a snowball's chance in hell of seeing a jaguar but they've been given some protection from hunting here and the Pantanal is definitely the best place in the world to see jaguars and the way they move much more well muscled than a leopard very powerful cats. Largest cat in South America, of course. And the way she just disappeared into the forest there. The jaguar's a true big cat, and you can hear that by that roar. There's only four cats in the world that can do that. The lion, the leopard, the tiger, and in South America, the jaguar. Wow, it really makes the hairs on the back of your neck stand up. A real reverberating sound goes right through you. And it sounds to me like there could be two there. May even be a male. You know, I never saw him. But maybe there's some mating going on with the female. Maybe he was waiting in the bushes and she was on heat. The male will follow a receptive female for two or three days, mate with her at every opportunity. And I think that sound... That's what was going on. There were two jaguars mating, which is, again, unbelievable.